Hey guys, Scott here. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm doing a short video to cover my Snowline micro spikes that I got uh, in the summer when they were on sale. I got large because I wear about a size nine, nine and a half uh, US men's boot. I got them because they'll go nicely on my trail runners. And uh, in one of the other videos I've done, I got some um, Zero Shoes men's Alpine winter boots that are waterproof and insulated. And I wanted to use the micro spikes on those as well. So. These are really highly rated, so I went ahead and got them. But here is what it looks like before you put it on. And it folds up really small. Uh, they've got this uh, nylon bag to stuff them in. They both fit in this bag. No big deal. The top is really stretchy, but it is firm and it's pretty strong material. So I'm really not worried about it breaking. And the chain on these is pretty good. Give you kind of a close up here. This part up here is the front, has the logo on it. And then on the back side, it's got a pull tab and it shows you the size. So I went with the micro spikes because most of the hiking I'm doing is just either packed snow or a little bit of ice. I don't need true crampons. I'm not climbing ice fields or anything like that. I'm just a recreational backpacker. So these should fit my bill really well. Again, this is what they look like on the boot. Let's go ahead and take them off and uh, I put them on before I shot the video because I want to make sure they actually fit so let's go and put them on. I'm betting this is a little easier to do with my shoe in, with my foot in the boot but I have no idea so I'm just gonna pull this down so I've got uh, there's a little bit of a bridle up here on the front for the toe See if I can get these centered a little bit better this time. Yeah, not too bad. All right. And then basically I'm going to grab this pull tab here in the back and stretch it. It's a good stretch. Yeah. went on pretty easily. So I have this on pretty tight as far as the cleats right up against the boot, but they do move a little bit. So they are going to clear and the treads will clear. Not a problem there. This is just where it sits naturally on the boot. I don't know if that's too tight. I'm going to get them out in the snow when we get some more ice, uh, hopefully later this winter, test them out, see how well they clear, how well they walk. They've got a nice solid uh, spike on them. So from all the reviews, these are a nice, long-lasting micro spike. They've got a good weight to them, so they're not super heavy when I'm doing my backpacking. And they're durable. So far, pretty happy with how they go on, what they look like. We'll get, uh, get some time on them on the trail when I get a chance. And if I get lucky enough to get some good ice and snow this winter, I'll put together another video to talk about that. Otherwise, I'll have to wait till I get back to the Sierras. Either way, guys... Thanks for watching this real quick video. Do me a big favor. If you like the video, go ahead and smash the thumbs up. However, please don't subscribe. A at least not unless you've watched a few of my other videos and you have some idea if you like the content, you like my style. If you do, well then make your own choice. I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.